Okay, so first night I uh, didn't film a lot. And, uh, this bug net is in my face. This is just a temporary solution. I was not planning on going in um, warmer temps. I think the bugs are not that bad, but I'm worried about the ticks. They are really going crazy at the moment, so I decided to make a fast bug net. Um, and yeah, it's in my face, but it will have to do. So, I didn't film a lot because you know, it's just a fun trip. Uh, we'll film a little bit more tomorrow and uh, I hope to make a video out of this. But for now, this is it. I wish you a good night. today. This is real life. Everything is, is oh, 518. Bugs woke up. So I woke up because the bugs woke up. But I was um, too hot. I made my down sleeping bag for winter time and I was not intending to use it um, in spring, maybe early spring when the night temps go down freezing but it was crazy warm and this bag has about 800 uh, grams of down in it so it can take it down to low temps. But I couldn't vent it because there was too cold, so I just ended up, uh, every time I woke up, because it was too hot, getting my arms out, um, <laughs> I didn't even zip this, this up, kept flapping that around to lose some heat, then I fell asleep again and woke up again after a while because I was too hot again. <laughs> it was a constant fight, so this bag should only be for cold weather and I think I'm going to use my challenger if we go out in spring summer because the tent went down to I think it's the coldest part now it's 15 degrees Celsius so that is 59.6 Fahrenheit so you can see it. That was crazy warm. Didn't film a lot yesterday. I uh, did take some pictures with well, those because this is more of a fun trip. So we took all kinds of stuff you oh you would normally not take with you. But um, yeah, it was more of a relaxed fun trip. We're gonna do some walking but not a lot. Um, there we're gonna get some uh, some food uh, for the barbecue. Took the barbecue with me, so we have crazy amount of stuff with us, which we normally didn't wouldn't take. But this trip again was with my brother, and uh, this was just for fun. So we'll film a bit more today. Uh, but, uh, I I don't know how much. I don't even know if this is gonna make YouTube. But we'll see. Now, I'm going to give me some coffee. It is fun because I went to the toilet. Um, this is a, they call it a nature camping. Uh, it has, seemingly, it has a teepee. Um, Caravans, not a lot. It's actually pretty decent size. Lots of places for your 
hammock and we actually ended up uh, right where we came in because that seemed the most ideal spot but it could have worked here also but we were in the sun the sun will come up on that side it's down on that side the sun says it's going to rain a bit, but it doesn't look like it. I can, it's been wrong all the time, so. So here's a couple of places that really work good for a hammock. The caravan, those people were um, there last night when we had the fire going. There's actually a fireplace you can use here. They have the wood, they have everything. So that's cool. You can practice with your fire steel. It's also fun to do. And this is actually where we ended up, and that is where we came in. So, this is actually the dedicated tent spots. So, we actually found the dedicated tent spots, the best spot for the tents and the hammock. And well, yeah, it works fine. So, I'm now waiting for sunrise. It's light out, but it's not sunny yet. So for that to happen, get toasty. So, for now, decent size. I'll put a link in the description. Where you can find this camping. You got a lot for hammer camping. Once it starts raining, I can still sit down. Like this. He is just hopping around. I can see, see him now. But... Here he comes. Come back. Look in there. He's gone. Road again oh. to the ruins. So, little road hike. You can't walk that far. So, road hike. Let's to try to go back through the forest. So, we'll see. Not much to see. That's pretty cool. That's an old castle that is in ruins. And it seems like it is. Oh, dog is open. Come on, stop sniffing. <coughs> seems like it's open, so we're gonna have a look. I'm curious. Looks cool. Let's take pictures. Het lijkt erop dat we die toren in kunnen, dus. Pretty awesome. So, that is probably not the original door. <laughs> cool, we have a toilet. Hey, you talking to me? Huh? Nope. Nee. Ik ga je even mijn moeders geven. Kom. I'm gonna give the dog to my mom. Yes. You cannot walk on those stairs. Kom. Boy. Jawel, maar hij kan niet op die trappen lopen. En dan moet ik hem tillen. Dat vond ik niet heel erg handig. Ik denk als je hier toch blijft staan. Maar je kan die toren in. Dan was je zo onderweg. Max, gaat niet. 
So, let's try this again. Only this time dogless. <coughs> That's the disadvantage of having a dog. Sometimes you can't enter or you can, but he just can't. And if no one... Whoa, scary stairs. Yeah, I'm afraid of heights. This was all destroyed. Yep. And I think we can go up here. Let's have a look, see? Small. Okay. So, um, there's a door. And the door is shut. Too bad. Let's try the other side. It's kind of fancy here. A lot of frogs. Like always, they close off the best parts. <coughs> but okay. We'll have to do with what we can find. Again, scary stairs. Lady's room. Yep. Scary view. See if this one's opened. Yep. I think they saved some of the original stuff to display. But I think a lot was lost. Ooh, that one is one looks scary. What does it say? No, made by an artist. <coughs> so not part of this. So a lot of things are not available to go to. This one I do get. If you would fall down this little piece here, you would probably hurt yourself. I think this was the bridge or something. I don't know. Fun. Yep, that is also Holland. Please make sure everything is tied to something because it would be stolen. Too bad. It's a shame I can't go up there. No, it looks like a prison cell. Yes, those little never seen this before. I know there is also another one which is more interesting, but hmm, okay. That is how it was built. First one, 1250, 1350 and 1550. So it took a long time to get this finished. And then they broke it down. Ooh, I found a chair that is not tied up. Cool. <laughs> okay, pretty cool. Not much to see, but it was a decent walk to see a pile of rubble and mainly restored something. Oh, well. Ooh. that would have been the water well, I think, which of course is closed.
so welcome um, short video this will be but okay I got my down top quilt with a zipper on the foot box this is made for winter but it's really fluffy look at that it's insane it's so warm um, so that's what I'm using but it's actually too warm so I should have brought the sleeping bag that I bought um, my brother is using the sleeping bag we had with two foam pads which one of you is lying on now but he's knocked out and there's my mom and she has a new piece of gear a five centimeter thick uh, self-inflating thermo rest mattress and of course our doggy sleeping bag and that's actually all that changed yeah we bought a new pillow because the other one didn't work so well that was it for now having a pillow makes so much difference let me use my jacket please get a good pillow we made one it was too small didn't work didn't feel much today and i'll show you the camping tomorrow now it's nighty night morning time to go last day he woke me up at three o'clock in the morning it took me two hours to get back to sleep so i didn't sleep loads more than i did yesterday so still tired I did sleep better it was still too warm so don't use your winter quilt when it's 16 degrees Celsius outside. <laughs> that does not work that well. So I will need to make a summer version or just use the Challenger bag that um, filled in winter because I think that would have done the job better. I would have slept through the night. So mom slept better, she had a pillow so I'm gonna figure out if I can compress that to a minimum size. We'll see. Oh, let's get this show started. I just got coffee, we'll do coffee again. Um, we do have the luxury of a shower over there. I'm not gonna use that one today. But, um, well, it is what it is. So, time to wake up, smell the coffee, and um, get started packing. So, also here goes, uh, although you paid for it, leave no trace, this is where the tents were, a little rain drop and you wouldn't see that anymore, and just scan around the area, if you took everything that you had with you, these little feathers that belong there. Yep, well done. All is gone. And it's clean. So, that was it for this trip. We're gonna walk the dog and then I'll take a walk around on the camping. So you can see it, but this was actually the best spot. We had most sunlight. The only thing is the needles on the ground. If you're going with your dog, keep that in mind. If he's long haired like mine, uh, you'll have some work when you come home. And um, when he sleeps inside of your tent, um, you're gonna have some uh, issues with needles inside of it. But f further than that, um, it's kind of strange that it has um, some fields on both sides. So you're in a little piece of forest. And then you see this. And actually there is a lot of forest around, but you will have to take a walk and you will have to walk past those fields. So more people say that it's kind of strange, but they do have everything you need here. You can take a shower, you can uh, go to the toilet, they have toilet paper. They recycle their own water. Um, no uh, time limits on the, on the showers. Um, so that's cool. Uh, a lot of them have time limits and 
Yeah, that's cool. I did shower once yesterday because, um, yeah, well, everybody went so. So why not? And I have this little micro fleece which dries up really fast, which I carry for my dog, but um, I use it for myself this time. Normally I use it for the dishes or something. And, uh, this is the camping, and I thought it would end here, but it does not. It has some um, form of child friendly thingies, big tree stump, sand bucket, one more curtain, and everything you see there. is also part of this camping, so it's actually bigger than I thought. Um, only thing uh, missing is the fire I was showing. That is actually pretty cool. They have this fireplace, because you cannot make fires um, at your spots, but they have this place, because these needles, these are spruce trees, these are actually small little wooden candles if you light them up. A lot of the wood is dead wood. So that will catch flame in no time and this piece of forest will be gone. But they actually had a washing machine and they pulled out the drum and that is your fire pit. And they have a nice load of wood. And on the other side of this little building, which by the way is always open. Um, this is the reception, but you can always just walk in if it is really, really bad weather outside. You can just walk in and sit there. Uh, it's never locked. So the owners or uh, watchers of uh, our camp there, so they will actually know when you're doing that. But nice amount of wood, nice amount of fire possibilities. You can have a barbecue, and that is my brother, who actually did sleep good. But yeah, this is it. It's quite nice. Not too expensive, but do keep in mind you need like a green little book. Little book, um, or else you couldn't camp here. Um, so that's to keep in mind. But I will uh, put the link down in the description box. And um, yeah, it's time to walk the dog.